Where's it at? Over here. It's a nine two. Who found it? Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel and Emily from Arms Family Homestead and today is opening day of rifle season. We didn't go hunting this morning because mm -mm. this girl wasn't home. She stayed the night with a friend. Missed out on opening morning. There was a big buck standing in front of one of our stands at about eight o'clock this morning. Luckily, it wasn't the one we probably would have hunted out of this morning, but uh, I've got two really nice bucks coming in. One's a big 10 point and one's a really big eight point. And I would love for Emily to get a chance at either one of them. She hasn't got a buck this year. Mm -hmm. She's the only one left of the three of us that actually hunt in the family. So we're going to take off this evening. Guess what? You're out of school for like the next nine days. Rifle season lasts for two weeks. So if we don't kill one tonight, we've got plenty of time. So let's go hunting. Let's do it. But I'm used to hunting with her. It usually takes like one day. <laughs> She's the luckiest kid I've ever met. up in the blind and the wind is kind of whipping this evening but uh, it's about 320 right now deer I've actually already had some uh, pictures of deer moving on my rebel uh, cellular game cameras not, not in this field but we're basically set up on a big oak flat right here and uh, the bucks come out bumping these does in the evenings out here these trees are dropping a lot of acorns right now so Hopefully one of them will follow a doe out right in the middle of the rut. Mm -hmm. Should be perfect for Emily. Yeah. a really nice young buck and I, when we sat down here I was telling Emily about all the different deer I had on camera and I said there's one that I really don't want to kill and that's him because next year he's going to be a giant and Emily picked up binoculars and said he doesn't look as big through the binoculars as I thought so that's good yeah yeah we don't want her excited over this buck right now
somebody tried to kill him and they weren't able to. That's <clears throat> actually a pretty good size deer. The other one's on the fight though. Why is he walking like that? He's posturing up, trying to fight, trying to make himself look big. Looks like somebody took a shot at this little buck with a crossbow in the last couple days. I can literally see part of the arrow sticking out one side and the broadhead sticking out the other side. It's like a crossbow bolt that's not very long, but I mean, he's still acting just fine. I'm sure he'll recover, but I don't know how he's going to get that arrow out of him. you were going to get excited and shoot the buck with the arrow sticking out of him for a second. <laughs> no. Survivor's log update, day 157. No bucks have been spotted. I'm surviving off homemade deer jerky and water. No, no big bucks down yet. Um, we were gonna hunt in a different spot this evening. We got a strong south wind. The other blind I was wanting to go to, I could hunt in any wind besides the south. Can't do, I'm not even gonna go in there tonight. It's way back off in the timber and uh, just not worth the risk of bumping a buck out of there or getting winded and spooking them out. But uh, I think for the most part, the bucks are kind of in lockdown. Yesterday when we were hunting, you guys saw it was falling after falling after falling all afternoon until right before dark and then some bigger does came out. And the only buck we actually saw was bumping a doe on the other side of the field. So my wife and Emily almost wiped out a monster buck on the road today middle of the day out chasing a doe I would assume and uh, my wife saw another one on our driveway yesterday that was probably tending a doe so the ruts on all it takes is one hot doe to walk in and we may have four bucks come following her in but uh, yeah we're gonna get situated munch down on some jerky that we made Emily's probably gonna take a nap and I'm gonna film the wind blowing the grass and the leaves
be sure to ration it. We may be here for 17, 18, 20 more days. You never know. Or just eat it all and we'll go back to the house and get more. Yeah. decision for you. Is it bigger than my last eight point? I don't know. Pretty close. Stop. I can't see him. He 
He's behind a tree now. Okay, he's coming out. Don't shoot while he's walking. Make him stop, okay? I don't have him. He's going right. showed up, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know. He jumped about seven feet in the air when you shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch, watch it real quick. Right now. We're going to watch the playback and see what your shot looked like. It's just getting too dark to see, but... Yeah. I bet you got him. Heck, he was only 30 yards. Good sis, hey, look, right here, just follow the blood trail. Yeah, I can't see. All right, we went back and got an assistant. Got some, got some blood trackers here. Houston, the blood trail's going this way. Look, there's blood there. Look, but look to your right. Look to your right, right here. Oh, jeez. Look behind you. Lots of blood, huh? I he wish, went right down this trail. I wish my deer would have been like this. Well, hang on. Well, I followed the blood trail. Tiny little drop after tiny little drop, me and all three kids. At first, this blood trail was just massive. It looked like somebody cut him in half with a battle ax or something. Then we followed it and followed it and followed it. And then we could hear bear barking about 100 yards, maybe 200 yards away. So I sent the kids to go find bear. And they're yelling at me through the woods. They found the deer. Nowhere near where I was looking still though. Where's he at? Over here. He's a nine too. Who found it? Well, how'd you find it? Hang on. Let me get to you. They were going different ways than bear, but we followed them and then we lost them. 
And then we heard him over here, so we came over here and had it. Yeah. Well, first. <laughs> Look at Jim with the kill dog over there, man. She's our, <laughs> she's our attack dog. All right, Emily. Let's see this deer, man. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty awesome, Emily. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you two kids. You two found this deer without me. I was all following the blood trail, and uh, we are a long ways from where she shot. From where I was following the blood trail, I was still on it after y'all left. I found more blood, but man, that's a good eight point, Emily. Yeah, mine. Right on that tine right there. Yeah, he's basically a mainframe eight point though. Bear, did you help find this deer? Find this deer? No. Hmm? Not really. So how'd y'all find Bella and Gemma? Well, we followed them all the way over here, and then we were way over here, and we heard uh, Bella breathing. We started. We heard, heard Bella breathing, huh? Yeah. We heard him over <laughs> here. We heard him over here. Right. But first, we started smelling him all oh, the yeah, way over he, there. Oh yeah, we could smell him over there. Really? Yeah, we yeah. could smell him. Dang. 